over here! I baptize you with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, his winnowing fork in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you all, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Blasphemous, episode 3 specifically, where we are trekking through the Tower of Unholy Fire. Uh, yeah. This place is hard, man. So, in the last episode, we uh, made it to this tower filled with uh, burning cauldrons and um, unforgiving uh, ghost enemies. These things in particular, I hate them. But, um, just gotta keep at it, you know? Just gotta be patient with those things, because, like, Jesus Christ, those things are, like, unforgiving. Alright, come over here, you. There we go. So, how is everybody doing? So... It seems like to, like, I didn't even intend for this, but it, it looks like today's episode is based on Baptism by Fire. And, yeah, that seems to be an apt description for this whole spiel. Okay, yeah, it seems like I, I'll be able to dodge those pretty efficiently with, um, with, uh, the slide. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I gotta figure out the two, uh, main, um positions that they're going to try and um, attack from, and then go from there. Okay, so I have to go up this way this time. Good. Beautiful. Okay, get you one, and then two combos. One, two, three. And this is good, too, because, like, at the end of the day, I am getting more tears, uh, that I can use, uh, for, uh, later. Get my soul back? Okay, I gotta figure you out, then. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, two of them? Oh, are you kidding me? Taking a flask. Oh my god, I do not like these enemies at all. Okay, that's one down. Take this guy out while I'm at it. Oh, goodness gracious. So, hope you guys are having a good time. Good. Take you out. Okay. I'm learning. I am getting better at this. I will get through this. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Here we go. I'm just gonna leave you alone, man. If you're gonna go down there, that's fine with me. Can I kill you from here? Yes, I can. Jesus. Oh, I gotta love that. Good. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Okay. Careful. Ah, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Man, you are fast on the draw with that thing. Get out of here. Good. What do we have here? Okay, let me check the map real quick just to make sure. Okay, let's actually go here in a bit. 
Let's explore over here first, because something tells me that might be the end. Oh, wait, no. Huh. Let's go down here first. Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to explore everywhere I can. Yeah, there might be something over this way. The enemies haven't respawned yet because I haven't gone to a pre deal so that I can use to my advantage here. Yes! Okay, there is something here. What do we got? Nothing happened. Okay. I guess uh, this is nothing for now unless, like, it might be something in regards to um, maybe I don't have a proper item or something. We'll figure that out later. For now, let's explore up here. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I've been having an issue lately. Particularly in the idea of... There are too many games coming out that I want to play. Or, like, too many games in my backlog that I want to play, but I just haven't had the opportunity yet. Anyone, any one of you guys have that issue? Okay, there we go. Pray to you. Nice. Hello. Who are you? De un lugar de bendiciones se me encomienda velar por vos. Penitente. Así pues se ha dispuesto. Mi nombre es Viridiana. Se me ha concedido un don con el que puedo asistiros con vuestra carga, si os es menester, pero solo vos debéis decidirlo. Penitente en el silencio. ¿Necesitaréis mi favor en vuestro siguiente cometido? Shh. Will you receive my assistance with your next task? Sure. Que así sea. Um, I'm curious as to what that means. What do we have here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, what is that? Hi! Okay, okay. Oh, dead man's volley! Take a take a flask. Okay, but what are you doing? Um, lady. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Just watch the patterns and go about it as I can. Good. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that is... That is a lot. So, looks like we got a boss fight, people. Okay, there she is again. What does she do exactly is what I want to know. I wonder if I can, like, parry those. 
Because that's a lot coming at me all at once. Okay, take it nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Okay, there's a second hand. Oh, jeez. Ah, crap. Okay. Jesus Christ, that's hard. Oh, wow! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, that's tough. But, I'm learning, I'm learning. Yeah, like... This is a classic, like, Mantis Lord's case. Like, w dealing with one is not that bad. Dealing with two, on the other hand, is really, really hard. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. There's my guild fragment. Ah, oh, jeez, bad start. Oh, jeez. Okay, the, the image got weird there. I'm taking a flask. Ah, really? Come on. Okay, got some good damage here. Oh, Jesus. And gotcha! Whew. That was hard. Oh, and I can't go back? Okay. That's fine. 
Wow. That was a boss fight. Okay. So, oh Jesus. What do we have here? Oh, the scarred face. Hmm? What's this? Oh, wow. The oh, hey. Hi. En nombre del suplicio mayor y de los siglos del milagro, al humillaros ante mi santo cuerpo, se os ha concedido la presencia de mi rostro dorado, custodio de uno de los tres dolores del alma en penitencia. Nuestro milagro me ha elegido de entre todos los piadosos, así como a vos para caminar sobre este sagrado mar. Que el oro de mi rostro derrita y borre la conjunción de vuestra alma. Corazón de la culpa, regresad ahora del sueño. Holy Wound of Compunction. Okay, so what do we have here? Holy Wound of Compunction, mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of compunction in the soul of the penitent one. Santo Credo, verse 3, the door of the mother will open if the three wounds were to be joined together. The mother would suffer a crack, the enclosure would end up broken, and the forbidden would be profaned. So yeah, that's basically telling me that I have to look for those three wound things and go from there. Golden thimble filled with burning oil. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's the uh, uh, that's the thing that we need uh, for that one guy at the at the bottom of the mountain, right? Oh, I does it have like does it have a new uh. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait a second. Okay, now that I'm now that I'm looking at this. Is that lady up there? Uh, the one that's uh talked about in the uh, lore of the uh, golden thimble. Perhaps. Oh, hey! Habéis realizado la primera humillación de penitencia. Se os ha permitido presenciar el rostro de la copa. Os quedan dos santos rostros a los que postraros. Ah, well, good to see you, sir. Alright, so, that is done. The question is, can I go back around and, like, explore a little more to see if I can see what's on the other way? Because I'm kind of curious to do that now. Oh, hang on a sec, let me do this. <laughs> I should be able to. Oh, man. Uh, but the problem is, like, since I uh, went to a pre I can't exactly. But maybe if I go back now that I've... Uh, maybe I can actually go back this way uh, since I've uh, done, the, done the boss fight. Maybe the door's opened. I'm going to go check. Because, holy crap. That, that, was, that was an adrenaline rush. What I'm really curious about is that lady that helped me. I wonder what her story is. Okay, yes, I can go back this way. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Yep, there we go. Uh, go to this Pridu. And we are good. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, what is in the other direction is what I want to know. Let's check it out. Oh, hi! Freaking lady. Get out of here. So, what is over here? Aha! Glad I came back. We have Cloistered Sapphire. It is another rosary bead. A crystal sphere imprisoning a sapphire heart. The gem sparkles with lightning from other lands, filling the glass with a stormy light. The strange energy fills the wearer with determination, electrifying the very air around him after he performs an execution. All those who have wanted to isolate themselves, all those who have freely locked themselves away as a chosen way of life, will have the blessing of a miracle. No one can serve two masters. Either you serve the miracle, or you serve the world. 
when you are in his in this cloister remember these words sister so yeah that is uh th that is the classic uh that that is the classic tale of um or the classic situation of um you either serve god or you serve the world um you cannot serve one or the other which depending on your interpretation might actually like be true or not i'm personally of like i'm personally of the belief that um like because like how do i explain this i believe in god uh, obviously and i do want to be more like him but also i am of the world you know i am still human that's the main thing that like i want to take away from like that whole spiel is that even if we do try to be more like god we never will be and that's the thing like to me the whole thing about being like god is more about like you know the story of jesus and how he treated everyone with love and acceptance and like you know mercy because that that's the one thing that like has me very curious is like hey people God, uh, Jesus treated a lot of people, uh, treated everyone pretty much equally, and his best friends used, were basically the worst of society. They were crooks, criminals, prostitutes, and so on and so forth. Um, think of that the next time you treat someone without respect, you know what I mean? Because Jesus respected everybody. Here we go. The virtue of mea culpa has ascended. Okay, we have 8,000 tears, so we can unlock a lot here. Fervorous blood, sacred technique that allows the bearer of mea culpa to use the cut of its blade to bless his own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. Ah, rage attack! Yes, please! Okay, can I unlock? Yes. Lovely. I do want uh, another uh, basic attack on my combo, though, too. The penitent one performs a fourth combo finishing attack. Take that. And we have Sacred Thrust. The Penitent One takes advantage of a dodge impulse to thrust mea culpa at the enemies furthest away. And then... Oh, I have enough. Sacred Lunge. It perfects the lunge technique and makes an even better use of the dodge impulse, making it reach farther. And this one... Ascending Edge. The Penitent One performs an upward slash as a combo finisher. Um, it seems we only have enough of the Sacred Lunge, so let's go with that. I am curious about this one, though. Alright, then. Um, I don't think there's anything this way, right? No, there is not. Okay, so, let's keep going. Nice to see that that's there. So, where do we want to go next? It looks like there's something down there. I'm actually not entirely sure where we need to go next. Um, Let's head down for now. And we can go from there. Ah, okay, we're doing this again. Beautiful. Alright. But yeah, that, like, what I was getting at earlier is that whole idea of, um, you know... Um, the story of Jesus and how uh, he um, pretty much treated everyone with respect and dignity. Like, he didn't care if you were, like, uh, if you were, like, a criminal or a crook of some kind. Because he treated everyone with respect. Like, all of the disciples in the story of, uh, of the New Testament, or in the stories of the New Testament, they used to be, like, what society deemed to be the worst of the worst. So, take that for what you will, you know what I mean? Alright, I, I might as well go ahead and rest at this mea culpa. Or not the, uh, pray to you. Here we go. Okay, so, if I go this way... I think we can get somewhere? Oh, gosh, this is the, uh, place with the smoke and brimstone. I'm not sure if we can go here. I'm curious, so let's try it. Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Um, something tells me I may have screwed myself over in regards to, um, getting my soul back there. So... Let us deal with that later, maybe. Oh, gosh, I have no clue. 
but it doesn't look like there's much of anything else here. I know there's that one area, but it looks like, uh, I think that's, like, from a treasure that I need to get later. So, for now, let us head back and see if we can explore anywhere else. It looks like there's, like, a place down here we can go to. So, let's head there. And, oh my gosh, I know there was a statue that allowed me to... That allowed me to get, like, my things back? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Well, let, let's look around and see what we can find. But yeah, um... What I was saying earlier about that whole spiel is, like, that pretty much, like, leads to one of the more golden rules. Um, when it comes to, um, you know, um, uh, the doctrine of, like, the Bible and Christ and everything is that, you know what? Just treat other people with respect and dignity, you know? Because at the end of the day, like, we're all humans. We all deserve to be treated with respect. And that's the thing, like, respect, like, doesn't necessarily need to be earned, you know what I mean? It it's one of those things where it's, like, re respect is a virtue no matter how you slice it. And that's the and that's the main takeaway, like, for me personally. Um, yes, this is the place. So if I can, if I go here, in exchange, yes, that's it. There you go. Okay. So yes, I can get it back that way. That's good to know. So yeah, if we go down here, we should be able to continue somewhere. Yep, back to Albero. Alright, so yeah, let's keep on going this way then. Oh, hello, this place is open. What is here? Hello? Anybody home? Make a donation? How much can I donate? Let's go with 600. Okay, something tells me that here, like, we can keep on making donations and that's going to lead to something. That's my best guess. So, let's just keep on uh, collecting those, I suppose. Especially since we just uh, got done uh, getting some upgrades at Mea Culpa. Uh, for mea culpa. So, I'm, I'm also, like, I'm also wondering if we can get more rosary beads. Because this is something I'm very curious about. Especially since we got more trinkets for it. But that's unfortunately something we're going to have to keep on exploring for. As for now, let's actually head, yeah, let's head to the southern part of the burial chambers. And see if we can go from there. And hopefully not die. I do feel like I'm getting stronger because I'm killing these things in less attacks, supposedly. Or, like, I'm, for all I know, that could just be my imagination. Oh, we can actually, like, I think we can head down this way. Um, yes, there we go. Beautiful. So, yeah, if we head down this way, we should be able to find something else. Okay, so that's nothing. Hmm. Awesome. And you? Yeah, this place is blocked off, so... Hmm. Then let's head down that way. It seems like there's another path down this way that I can go to, so hopefully I'll find something there. I like, I, I like this, honestly. Like, I do like the fact that the game kind of, like, gives me the option to basically explore at my leisure. There we go. Oh, wow, yeah, I can get those, I can get those guys in one shot now. So, yeah, I think I am getting stronger. Um, 
It might be because of the Mayor Goodba statues, maybe? Ah, there's a fourth combo. Okay, good to know. Alright, so, here we go. Um, let's go to the right. See what we can find over here. Man, like, playing this game is making time go by really quickly. I didn't even realize we're already half an hour into this episode. Alright, so something tells me we have to go around in order to unlock that bit. That's fine. Ow! Don't appreciate that. Taking a flask. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and, like, see if we can unlock this area. Oh, man, that parry feels good, man. I remember you. Oh, jeez. Taking a flask. Ah. There it is. Okay, good. Careful. Okay, yeah, that takes me back to where I began. So, we're good now. So, that path is open. Whew, boy. Yeah, I'm, like... I'm just, like, super hyper-focused on, like, making sure I don't die. It, it makes commentary for this game really hard. Okay, Bridge of the Three Cav Cavaliers? Cavalries? Okay. Yeah, I can't do any of those yet. I'm still wondering what this is. Oh, you know what I just realized? Um, I should probably head back to the top of the mountain... Or, like, to the base of the mountain and see if I can give the guy, um, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, uh, flask. Or the, uh, thimble. Um, maybe I'll do that another time for the time being. Maybe I have to circle back around that area. I hope. Uh, but, uh, if you guys think I should do that now or maybe do that later, let me know. Because, uh, I'm curious about that. He aquí la puerta en cuyo bronce se perpetúan los calvarios de los elegidos por el milagro. En ella, el arte de las imágenes para su culto y devoción requieren el auxilio del ornamento. Su esculpida santidad nos observa rígida desde lo alto, pero es el relieve de bronce lo que dictamina quién es digno. De cruzar bajo su adornado arco. Encuentra a los santos rostros y el bronce lo sabrá. Pues caprichosos son los deseos del milagro. Okay. So I think maybe this is the place I need those three uh, items for, it seems. So it's so it looks like uh for um so it looks like to go this way I have to do that all first. Well that's fine. At least that tells me that I can just go back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the uh top of the like to the base of the mountain real quick and see if I can give that guy um whatever is in the thimble. That shouldn't take me too long. Alright, this enemy's gonna respawn, so that's gonna Oh, no, no, it didn't. That actually works just fine. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And, uh, see, uh, what that takes, uh, what that gives me. Assuming that is what I gotta do. I hope I'm right about that. Ow. Beautiful. Alright, it should be up here. Because this is this shouldn't take me too long because the base of the mountain is already right here. So the next time I come around, I'll have to go down. Okay, where are you, sir? There you are. Do you want to give the golden thimble filled with burning oil? Yes. Puedo acudir a la llamada. 
No answer. Well, all right. We'll see, uh... We'll see what happens there for the time being. But in the meantime, let's head back and we're gonna go down this time and see where that takes us. I'm gonna go on for a bit. Like, yeah, we're still, we're still like, we still got about 20, 25 minutes left in the episode. So, oh Jesus, don't go down there. Oh wait, now that I think about it. Oh. Ignore that. Now that I think about it, isn't there something in this, in that area that I can get now that I have a projectile? So let's go explore that real quick. Maybe without dying this time. Jeez, that was embarrassing. You can die like so easily in this game, it's insane. But I guess that's kind of the nature of it. I don't mind it, honestly, because at the very least, it's not that difficult to recover. So, let's try this again. Come on. There we go. Got it. Wait, I saw the Y prompt for that. Was there something I could do there? I'll have to look at that later. Alright, so here we go. Now that I have a projectile, I should be able to do this. Oh. There it is, got it. Awesome. So that's another thing uh, taken care of. Now, hopefully I can get through here without dying. Yes, sir, Rebob. Awesome. Muchas gracias por la... Por la misericordia. Okay, here we go. So, let's go down here and see what we can find. Hmm. Okay. Beautiful. Oh boy, what do we got here now? You again. Sí, hermana mía. Nuestro encuentro se acerca. El milagro me protegerá. No necesito vuestro amparo esta vez. Dejadme solo. What is your story, sir? Mercy Dreams. Okay, so I think this is another quote-unquote dungeon. Okay, so we can uh, expunge our guilt here. What do we have here? Okay, you can destroy those, yeah. Hmm. Let's go this way first. A little bit of exploration. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not dealing with this. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, good. God, the music in this game is immaculate. I am very much enjoying... Oh, I had a feeling! Oh, that combo is great. I gotta keep... I gotta keep in mind those, like, potential, um... Like, hidden passages. Maxia of Tarat... Uh, Maxia of Taradax, the cleric. With his broad smile and good manners, Nicodemus Taradax uh, never denied anyone refuge in his church. The discovery of a pile of bones in the sac in the sacristy revealed his true intentions. Ooh, okay. That's potentially dark. Beautiful. Okay, so. I can deal with that pretty easily. Good, good, good. Oh, that combo is satisfying. Look at that. Whew. I'm learning things, man. Is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Makes me wonder why that's there. 
If, if, there, if level design has taught me anything, is that you don't do things just for the heck of it. Okay, so... That takes care of that. Is there a place up there to explore? It There is. I'm curious. Let's check that out. Because it looks like I need to go down deeper. Ah, Predu. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, let's explore this place a little more. Maybe next episode I can get to the point where I can fight the boss. Assuming I don't suffer through this place like I did at the tower. Like, at the burning tower. Because holy crap, that place was hard. Particularly because of those ghost enemies. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got specters of some kind. Okay, we got spellcasters now, huh? Okay, good. Okay, these guys are relatively weak. I'm taking a flask. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, careful. What do we have here? A treasure chest? Oh, Jesus. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, uh, seguiria, uh, seguiria to your eyes like stars. Brief him to the night skies. Overwhelms the penitent one with fury of the righteous, increasing the speed of his attacks for some time. Okay. Let's do that one, then. Seguiria your, to your eyes like stars. There is a small girl with two star-like eyes who, when she looks at me, makes me stay by her side. They say she's a saint, came down from the sky. Do not cry, my child, or I'll get lost on the way. What is it that tolls the bells in the distance? What is it that cries on her face, eyes, eyes star-like? Interesting. Um... I'm trying to remember, like, do you have to, like... Do you have to, like, do something in order to, like, make these, like, hymns activate? Someone in the comments remind me, because, again, like... I have to, like, keep track of a lot in this game. Ugh. Let's take a flask. What do we have here? Oh boy, oh boy, it's approaching me. Oh Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay, I understand now, I understand now. Okay, there's one of you. I'll take that. Good. What do we have here? We have a cervical vertebra of Z uh, cervical vertebra of Zyka Zyker the Brewmaster. Zyker the Brewmaster gave ignoble fame to his monastery by brewing the most famous beer in the kingdom. One night, the flames of a fire raised his legend to the heavens. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's dark. I am sorry, sir. But your efforts shall not be forgotten. Alright, so, we got another area unlocked here. Beautiful. I'm tempted to go back up and, like, pray to the Prey of Dew. Might as well, right? Like, get my flasks back. And, like, recover my health, because goodness gracious, this game's hard, man. Yeah, I might as well take the opportunity to pray at the Pridia. I I really hope I'm pronouncing these names right, because like I am Spanish, 
but like this is more like along the along the uh, veins of like you know Spain Spanish, which is different from Latin American Spanish. So like that is something to keep in mind. Also, like some of this is definitely like more Latin, because like mea culpa is not like uh, pure Spanish. It's actually Latin. Okay, so let's uh, go this way. What do we got here? Oh, the merchant! I don't have a lot of tears, unfortunately. What do we got? Moss preserved in glass. A minute jar filled with moss. The tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. <gasps> hmm. Keep that in mind. What do we got here? Hollow pearl, empty tarnished sphere. There is no trace of knacker left, but it retains just a hint of bluish sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. Key to the chamber of the eldest brother, a forbidden key that was guarded by the eldest brother of the brotherhood, but was eventually lost, thus forever sealing the chamber it opened. Um, yeah, we might as well. We got, uh, we got, uh, enough tears for that one. I'm going to go with, um, this one. Oh, no, we don't have enough. And how much do I need for this? Uh, I don't have enough. Yeah, yeah, I got you, lady. All right, so let's keep going for just a little bit longer. We got another 10 minutes or so. Oh, Jesus Christ. I really like that four hit combo. I could probably take you out like this, right? Yeah, I'm curious as to what that prompt is. Over here, buddy. Beautiful. Ah. Awesome. I'm going to take a quick flask. And goodbye. Oh, you didn't die. There it is. Awesome. All right, yeah. So far, I'm liking like I'm liking the upgrades. I'm definitely feel like I'm getting faster. That was an accident. What do we have here? We'll explore you in a moment. Okay, that goes somewhere else. Um, let's let's explore this secret area real quick because now I'm curious. Oh. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah, you just gotta rush those guys down. Oh boy. Beautiful. Yes! Wonderful! Alright, what do we got here? We have 
Empty bile vessel. Vessel made of crystal and gold capable of holding the hollowed bile that emanates from the morning fountains. Get up and tell us what you witnessed, said the scribe without averting his gaze from the paper. I received an order from the exhum uh, from the exhumation of a of a penitent of a penitent who had been buried about a year ago, answered the gravedigger. He was well loved in Alvero, and many parishioners approached his grave, but when I dug him up, we saw blood coming from a crack in his sarcophagus, blood red as wine. Those who were there rushed to open the lid of the coffin and carried him on their shoulders, watching the blood as blood gushed out of his so its side. Others ran to their houses, searching for buckets and bottles to keep all that blood that wouldn't stop flowing out. Interesting. Okay. So far, I'm like really, really liking the world building. It like again, th this is a very Souls-like game, like no doubt about that. Even more so than Hollow Knight. And, like, I'm really liking, like, the, uh, lore build-up when it comes to, like, these items that you're getting in the world. I, I, I like it when games do that sometimes, you know? Because, like, it, it, it provides a little more, like, uh, a little more room for, like, the audience to interpret what's going on. Hello. Penitente, no os preocupéis por mí y mi apariencia ahora cambiada y madura. Puede que este sea un pequeño precio a pagar por tan dichosa alianza. Mi protección no termina aquí. Necesitaréis mi favor en vuestro siguiente cometido. Someone in the comments, please tell me what is the purpose of this? Because it seems like um it seems like I can accept or like, you know, reject the help of these people when I approach boss fights. Is there a benefit to not doing this? Cuz I'm really curious. Um, someone in the comments tell me. For now, I'm going to keep accepting the help. Thanks, lady. Alright, and there's another Priadio here. Okay, that goes further down. Let's see what's over here first. Oh no, that might actually be where the boss is. So, let's explore over here first. Hmm. You know what? No, let's go this way first. Uh, let's say, let's see if we can take out. Let's see if we can take out this boss first, and then we'll do some more exploring. Sorry, like, I, like my my gamer brain just wants to explore more. You know. What do we have here? Oh, jeez, I see that moving. Hello. Oh God. Oh God. What are you? Ugh. Ten piedad. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Can I... Can I parry that? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Stay away from it. Good. And then it's gonna crouch, attack, four hit combo. Ah, okay, good. It's gonna do the spread. Crouching attack. Four hit combo. I can parry that! Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah. I'm out of flasks. I got it, though. Whoo. Okay. That, that got close. He kind of just cornered me, and I was kind of, like, just forced to deal with him. I'm really glad I was able to do that first try, though. Thank you, lady, wherever you were, for your healing. That actually saved my butt. I'm getting a real dreamer's vibe here, like from Hollow Knight, you know what I mean? Yep. Wow, I'm actually surprised we got, like, t two of these in one episode.
or did I beat the or or did I beat this guy last ep oh, I don't remember. No, it, no, it was this episode, right? Oh goodness. This this is the consequence of long episodes, people. Holy Wound of Attrition. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of attrition in the soul of the penitent one. Oh, there's Lord of this, actually. Santo Credo, verse 1. His holiness, because of his high penance, must endure suffering in his soul in three ways. Each of the ways is a motive. Each motive is a sore. Hence, these three sores are the keys to his eternal pain and must be guarded. Okay. That worked out nicely. Hey, buddy. Habéis realizado la segunda humillación de penitencia. Habéis conocido la faz de la atrición. Os queda una santa faz a la que postraros. Yep, so I got one more to go. Alright, so, there's the Priya Diu. Okay, so, it seems like I can go back this way, but what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna explore this way first. Um, I got a little bit of time left. Like, let's go ahead and explore that one area real quick because I'm curious. Again, like, I, I just kind of, like, want to enjoy my time with this game. I, I, I am enjoying this game a lot, all, like, already. Um, from what I hear, my friend North has told me that there is a New Game Plus feature to this game, and so, and certain, like, features are only, are locked behind New Game Plus. I'm probably just going to enjoy that on my own time. But, yeah, so far I'm enjoying this game as is. Like, this is definitely, like, I'm, I'm definitely having fun. Alright, so... What do we have here? Ow. Whoa! Whoa! So that's what an execution is. Okay. That's fun. Oh, goodness. Ow. What do we have here? We have a uh, pisiform of Hernandez, the explorer. Victor Hernandez was chosen to lead an expedition meant to civilize barbaric tribes. He was sentenced for heresy when he suggested that Custodia was the most uncivilized of all known places. Interesting. And it looks like that's it over here. Is there anything else over here that I can explore? Doesn't look like it. So, yeah. Um, let's keep going to the right. And maybe I can find something here. Oh, hello. What is this? What is this? Oh, a fast travel! What? Oh, nuts! And what do we have here? Bouquet of Time. Bunch of aromatic herbs common in the past amidst the cliffs of the bronze borders. Today, however, their scarcity makes them increasingly valuable, especially for those who discern their healing abilities. It wasn't long before more and more people came to us, affected by that terrible and unknown suffering. Whole families, the old, the young, and even the newborn. We brothers of the congregation were unable to cope, and our care was not working, nor were our ointments, nor our constant prayers. We are lost, submerged in the darkness of uncertainty. Alright, okay, so there is a travel mechanic in this game, which is really honestly kind of like a kind of a relief, because I was a little worried that I was just gonna have to like go all over the place without like being able to Oh boy, okay, so that's uh that's definitely a relief. So, one more uh, remains. And I'm curious if maybe I can go back this way. Um, 
but um, I, I I definitely have some more exploration to do. Like this this part in particular, like has me worried because of that like brimstone fog type thing. It looks like there's a couple of places here that I can uh, explore, like going up the mountain again. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Let let's make this the last thing we do today. Uh, let's see what we can unlock via mea culpa. Um. Oh, I need seven thousand tiers to upgrade this. So no, no way. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, head back to a preview, and I'll, I'll go ahead and end the episode. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me for episode 3 of Let's Play Blasphemous. This game has been an absolute blast. I am very much enjoying myself so much right now. So, um, I'm actually curious what this is as well. Um, so, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Again, let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, I'm the Green Scorpion. See you guys then.